Good morning. Today is Thursday, June 8th. I'm Pastor Sean, and this is your morning prayer to start your day. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, we're in day 134 of our journey through Scripture, and today we've got a bunch of psalms, four of them. And these are a great selection of psalms. Um, these are just really, man, got some good ones today. Uh, now, certainly these, uh, well, especially Psalm 51, is directly coming from, and specifically coming from what we read yesterday with uh, between David and Bathsheba. So these are very, um, very related psalms and, and with the text we're going through, um, and the other ones certainly fit in with, with those uh, themes too. Um, certainly the the overarching theme is the thankfulness for God's steadfast love, his um, abundant uh, Abundance of mercy, um, you know, the appeal to cover over our transgressions, to blot out our sin, to forgive us, to have mercy upon us, and uh, great is his steadfast love is kind of the general vibe that we got going through all these um, psalms. So just real quick, you know, and, and actually we, we get some awesome quotable elements in, in each of these, um, you know, very familiar bits of scripture that we hear sprinkled through various things. Um you know, Psalm 32, blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Um, so, you know, you are blessed when your transgression is when forgiven, when you're, you're blessed when your sin is covered. Um, and of course, you know, blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity. Well, not, not because of anything you've done and in whose spirit there's no deceit. Well, by yourself, there's plenty of deceit in that spirit. But uh, the Lord has forgiven you. He has blessed you and covered your sin. Therefore, he counts no iniquity towards you. There's no deceit in you according to God. Um, so a beautiful word of, of God's just gracious, awesome nature. Skipping over 51 for right now. Um, Psalm 86. But you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. We hear this throughout scripture. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful word for us that, you know, he is merciful, gracious. He is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Um, we are faithless. He is faithful. Um, we are lacking in love. He is abounding in it. Uh, just the, the, the greatness of God. In Psalm 122, you know, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Um, you know, to, to, to go to the house of the Lord, uh, without being forgiven, without having your sins covered, is terrifying. Why would you go there? To go to the house of the Lord on your own merit, you know, without any mediation, you know, blocking you or, or, or um, walking before you, um, is foolishness because you're going to your judgment. You're going to the house of the Lord where you have no business being um, and you will just be, boom, done. But I was glad when they said to me, let, let us go to the house of the Lord. Why are you glad? Because, well, look at Psalm 32. Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Um, that wonderful blessing enables us to uh, be glad when somebody says, let us go to the house of the Lord. It's like, absolutely. Let's go because that guy, man, he loves me. <laughs> he covered all my sin. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, to me. Let's go to his place. Absolutely. So great stuff, great stuff. But really, kind of the, the crown jewel of these four has got to be uh, Psalm 51, which is uh, the Psalm of David written, um, you know, when, when to, to look at or in, in accordance to when Nathan the prophet went to him after he had, you know, done his thing with Bathsheba. And, of course, there's so much familiar stuff in here. Um, you know, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. You know, that's our confession. Wash me, cleanse me, forgive me. Um, I know my transgression, my sin is ever before me, just stating plain and simple, you know, the, the reality of our sin and our experience of it. You know, we, 
if we think we are, well, if anyone says they are without sin, they're fooling themselves and the truth is not in them. Right. Um, you know, I know my transgressions. I know who I am and what I deserve. You know, my sin is ever before me. I cannot get away from it. Okay. And he says against you, only you have I sinned. Now, you know, this is about Nathan or Nathan. This is about David and Bathsheba, you know, and, and David who, who killed, had Uriah, Bathsheba's husband killed. Okay. And he says against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Um, is not suggesting that David doesn't think that he has sinned against anybody else, but ultimately every sin he's committed. So even the, the, the sins he committed against Uriah, against anybody else, these are sins against God. Any sin committed is a sin against God. Um, and that is, that is the terrible thing about sin because, you know, we, we like to kind of downplay it, discount it, whatever, by saying, well, you know, I've, I've, I've sinned against other people. Sure. But you know, what is that? That's just being human. You know, that's just whatever. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really count. You know, as long as I don't sin against God, I'm good. You know, I can sin against other people and still be okay. But David hits the reality here, you know, against you, Lord, have I sinned against you only. Any sin is a transgression against you. Um, so it just kind of highlights the the precarious situation we're in. Uh, we confess we are sinful and clean, and that means we have sinned against God. That we have given him daily, minute to minute, so many reasons to reject us, so many reasons to cast us off, so many reasons to say, no, be gone, I'm done with you. Um, but, you know... Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my, uh, did my mother conceive me. Behold, you delight in truth and in my being. You teach me wisdom in the secret heart. I was born into sin. This is who I am. So purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. You alone, Lord, purge me, wash me, forgive me. Um, create. Well, here's here, here here's the stuff right here. Create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a free or willing spirit. Um, I mean, you can't really even read that without singing it in your head. Um, every time I, I get to this text, I'm like, oh, create in me a clean heart, oh God. Um, yeah, I, I can't read it without hearing that <laughs> in my head. Um but that, that's the, the great part about that, uh, why we sing it every week or, or some variation of that is to really just drill that in so that way it, we recall it and it is a comfort, it is a peace. Create in me a clean heart, O God. It's like even go beyond forgiving. Don't, don't fix this, God. You know, don't put together the pieces again because this is hopelessly broken. Create in me a new heart. Create something new that you have done, not that I, you know, I've done this. You created me something new from your hands. Renew a right spirit within me. Renew your spirit within me. You know, don't cast me away. Don't don't send me off. Uh, don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. You know, work repentance in me so that I might turn to you. Uphold me with a willing spirit. Keep me in your hands. Um, just beautiful, beautiful stuff. You know, oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. You know, that's a part of our various liturgies too. Um, you know, oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Like to the point where my mouth opens and, and it just praise of you comes out, God. You know, because of what you have done. This is how great it is, the blessing of forgiveness and, and, and comfort that you've given me through your son, Jesus Christ. I open my lips. You open my lips. I don't even open them. You do all the work still. You open my lips and praise comes out. Um, ah, good stuff. Uh, fantastic Psalm. You just can't go wrong with Psalm 51. This is this is an excellent one to either, um, you know what, commit it to memory. You know, it's, it's what, 19 verses? You can totally do that. Um, or at least, you know, the very least, the, the create me a clean heart. You should already have that memorized. If you attend, a, uh, you know, an LCMS church, <laughs> you, you probably have that part memorized by heart, right? You should. Um, but you know, 19 verses is not bad. Easy to, to, to commit to memory. Um, it is a beautiful Psalm and just covered end to end with, with gospel, uh, comfort and peace. So, uh, this is a beautiful one. Spend some time in this one today. Um, whatever, Whatever you're going through, this is that's there's the medicine right there. <laughs> that is what you need, absolutely. 
All right. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Let us pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Well, blessings to you on this Thursday. Hope you have a good day. Hope everything goes well, and uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. So until then, peace be with you.